week after week after week. So I, I, I'm not gonna say I'd be surprised, but if you're asking me to pick, I think Michigan's the better overall team. Okay, let's talk about the big dogs, the Bulldogs. Ohio State, Georgia, Georgia national championship winners last year. I'm tired of looking at Michigan. Can we roll the tape? Can we look at Georgia, please? Thank you. Ohio State, Georgia, <laughs> Peach Bowl. C.J. Stroud, this man right here, two-time Heisman finalist. Stenson Bennett, quarterback for Georgia, Heisman finalist this year. Which team gets it done? I'm about to make a big fan base mad, but I just, I've, I've never seen the Buckeyes look the part. Like, for how good we think C.J. Stroud is, Marvin Harrison Jr., like, they got some serious players, but I never felt like they put it together at the level their talent suggests they should. They got beat soundly by Michigan to end the season. And Georgia, they got, I mean, they got dogs, man. Like, Jalen Carter in the middle. They got talent all over the defense. They got three different tight ends. I've never seen such an explosive team that does it with tight ends. And I think Georgia's just been biding their time. I'm not brave enough to say I think it's going to be a blowout, but I think Georgia is a much better team, and I think they're going to win relatively convincingly. Dave, best Ohio State quarterback in the NFL in the last 10 years ago. Who is it? I mean, Buckeyes are going to try to claim Joe Burrow, but I ain't letting that happen. <laughs> I'm not letting that happen. I am claiming that it is Joe Burrow. And speaking <laughs> of Joe Burrow, he's the quarterback for the Red Hot Bengals. Remember, they have won, I believe, six straight games. They are dominant right now, third in the AFC at 11-4. and four. But they have a huge, and I mean huge, matchup against that man, Stephon Diggs, and the Buffalo Bills this coming Monday. It cannot be a bigger game. So much is on the line. 12 and 3 versus 11 and 4. Burrow versus Allen. Two of the best young quarterbacks the game of football has ever, and I mean ever, seen. All right, let's come on camera. Joy, let's talk about this one. Bills, Bengals, a lot at stake. 12 and, four, 12 and 3 Bills, 11 and 4 Bengals. Who needs a win more? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go Bengals. I understand the argument for the Bills, obviously. You want to clinch home field advantage. It would be nice to just ride off into the sunset and not worry about how the rest of the playoffs are going to play out because you're going to be at home. So I'm going to go with the Bengals. Obviously, they had to go on the road for the last three games of the playoffs last year. They had one home game against the Raiders, the wild card, but then they were on the road against the Titans, on the road against the Chiefs, and essentially the Rams had a home, home game for the Super Bowl, as we know. The Bengals had to come out here to L.A. So from that perspective, the Bengals obviously want to win the AFC North. They can do that if they beat the Bills and the Ravens lose or tie against the Steelers on Sunday, which is totally possible. Shady, you played for the Bills. You were an all-pro for the Bills. 1,300 yards for the Bills. You did a lot for the Bills. You know the Bills need a lot. Who needs this win more, Bills or Bengals? I'm going go with the Bills. Right? I think the Bills is a really, really good team. And like Joey talked about, they got to get that number one seed. It's very, very important. Let's think about it for a second, right? The Bills are Josh Allen in the playoffs. At home, he's 3-0. Yep. Away, he's 0-3. And, and the bigger thing about that is, imagine a team had to come to Buffalo. It's going to be so cold. The only people want to go to that game is the, the Bills fans and the Bills players. So that's the best part about it. Bring everybody to Buffalo. How hard is it? Because you played in Philly. You grew up in, in, in PA. How hard is it playing <coughs> in Buffalo and why? <laughs> a Dolphin fan right here next to us. When we play the Dolphins late in the year, it will be so cold. They won't get out, get out of there. Come in there. Let's play. Look, we lose, we lose them by three points in the fourth quarter. It don't matter. Let's go on the bus. We're ready to go back home. <laughs> It's so cold. The ground is hard. It's freezing. Nobody wants to get hit in that type of weather. In Buffalo, you're, you're, you're there all the time. Like, one thing that McDermott does, the whole whole week we'll be inside. Friday, late in the year, or yep. late in the, um, the, the week, Thursdays and Fridays, he'll put them outside just to get the, the weather, just to feel a little bit. Nobody wants to play in that type of weather. Nobody wants to play in it, but Dave Hellman, the Bengals, the Bills, they got a huge one. Who needs it more? I think it's the Bills, and I, I don't think it's that close, to be honest with you. Cause, I mean, okay... Give it in, get in your time machine and go back to Labor Day, right? Like, we weren't unanimously convinced the Bengals would even make the playoffs, right? right. Shady, you thought that. Just I saying. Did. And, th and that's totally reasonable, by the way. I'm not, I'm not throwing shade. Like, that's reasonable. They look bad early, Super yeah. Bowl hangover. They look bad. The offensive line. The Bills have been the favorite from the jump. They were the favorite in the preseason. Yeah. They were the favorite through the first half. Quietly, the Bills are kind of doing some Cowboys stuff. They're just not the Cowboys, so we're not talking about it. They're winning. It's kind of ugly. They turned the ball over three times in Chicago last week. They're handling business, but we're not talking about them because they don't look like that juggernaut that they looked like through the first six weeks. They hold home field. All they got to do is win out, and they've got home field, whereas the Bengals would need to win and get some help, right? Like, they still got to worry about the Chiefs. The Bengals don't control everything. It's all in the Bills' hands. And I think at this point, it would be disappointing if they didn't pull that off. Because, again, it, it's easy to forget, but, like, 
they were not quite a unanimous favor, but a very heavy favor. I believe three of the four of us picked them to win the Super Bowl. Absolutely. The vast majority of media and fans thought of them as the favorite. It's time to deliver on that, especially considering they kind of been hanging in the cut for the last month and a half. This would be a big chance to make a statement before the playoffs. All pro Von Miller hurt for the Buffalo Bills. All pro Micah Hyde safety hurt week two for the Buffalo Bills. They need as much to go right for them as possible, given the fact that so much has gone wrong on the Bills. I think the Bills need to win that game more. But coming up, the Dolphins this weekend, then the Miami a concussion last week. Teddy Bridgewater, he's in as a starter. He's the guy. He's the man. Dolphins are fighting for a playoff spot. They desperately, desperately need to win. Tyreek Hill said Bridgewater water quote knows what it takes to get the job done to win games Joy Taylor you've been a Dolphins fan for as long as you've been alive give or take 15 years anyway <laughs> can Teddy Bridgewater save the Dolphins this weekend T 10 years and then not really because Marina's a pit guy regardless <laughs> um, I'm hanging on to my last thread of faith in the in the Dolphins for this season I'm gonna say yes that Teddy can get it done <laughs> that didn't more. I didn't, I know, I didn't, like, more that didn't sound so like, like, I didn't it. believe it at You're all. Yeah, I don't believe it. Like. <laughs> you didn't feel the conviction <laughs> in my voice? This game is about Mike McDaniel to me. It's not about Teddy Bridgewater. We've seen backup quarterbacks come in in situations all season long and perform well, have good game plans for them. This is a, a game that is completely winnable. And to me, I'm going to put it on the coach. We know what Teddy Bridgewater is capable of at this point in his career. So put together a game plan that, that's good for Teddy. Take advantage of what you have, which is a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. And in my opinion, there's really no excuse why you should lose this game. There are, there are other teams who are having to play with backup quarterbacks right now who are playing. Uh, some, some have described their performances as great. Okay, <laughs> That's with, 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 with three turnovers as great. And she did play pretty well. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, uh, there was at some point this year, we had the Dolphins at the top of the league yeah. when they were playing well right there with top the Eagles. Five, yeah. Whether top that was reasonable five. or not, it doesn't matter. We've seen what you're capable of doing when you have your starting quarterback. If you're putting together the right game plan and everyone is playing, everyone else is playing it to the level that we know that they can play, you should be able to go there and get a win and keep control of your playoff destiny. Here's the thing, though, Dave. Belichick and the Patriots, they've done a lot wrong this season. A lot. But the one thing they've done right abuse quarterbacks that they're supposed to abuse on the football field. So one thing they've done right. They beat Mr. Trubisky. They beat Brissett. They beat Ellinger. They beat Mike White. They beat Zach Wilson. They beat uh, Cardinals. Might, it might have been Colt McCoy, Trace McSorley. So the one thing they do do is beat quarterbacks they're supposed to beat. Why you give me that look, Dave? I, I take issue with you lumping Teddy Two Gloves in with those guys, honestly. Teddy Two Gloves. Teddy, like... I mean, Teddy's one of my favorite people in the NFL. Like, I'll be honest. He's I'm not an LSU guy. No, he's not. I just like him. He's okay. a cool guy. I mean, like, he spent some time in New Orleans. You remember the video where he was marching with the marching band? Like, he's he's a cool dude. That's like, that touched my boy. He plays like he plays well more often than not. Like, I'm I mean, I'm looking at it. His last last two years, he's a 500 quarterback. He averages 200 yards a game, twice as many touchdowns as interceptions. Of course, he's not a franchise guy at this point in his career. If he ever was before he got hurt. He can win you a game against a mediocre to bad team. And that's what the Patriots are. I'm looking at their their best win. What do you think their best win is? The, the Lions? The, the Lions before they were hot. Okay, I'll give you that. And then the, the Jets. Jets. The Jets. The Jets. That was crazy. They got Zach Wilson benched because he couldn't score a touchdown. It's The Patriots are like, they are a Rorschach test. Like, they are like the, a litmus test the, for the most mediocre of teams. Like, they're good enough to beat bad teams and bad enough that they don't ever beat good teams. Like, their losses are to Miami, Baltimore, Green Bay, Minnesota, Buffalo, Cincy. Any good team. They even <laughs> throw in a blowout loss to Chicago. So they're even capable of getting their butts kicked by a bad team. I don't think they're a good team. I think Teddy Bridgewater is a good enough quarterback. He's still got those receivers. Surely he can right. throw to Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle, right? I mean, <laughs> hey, guys, run crossers and see who gets open. They ran for 200 yards against Buffalo. They averaged four and a half yards per carry against the Packers before that game got out of whack. They're a good team. Good teams beat the Patriots. I'm not going to overthink it beyond that. 2-5, where are you saying? I'm actually, I agree with Dave, which is oh, rare. I love that. Right? Because he, I never really Happy agree Happy New him. Year. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> I, I think, like, Teddy could get it done. Teddy's a, a solid vet, right? He's, yeah. He's earned his stripes as an OG in the league. And then you add in the, the, these pieces, Waddle and, 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 and Tyreek Hill, like, what else do you need? Defense plays well. And then it, the thing is, like, the, the, the Patriots, they're, 
they're okay. Let's let's just say it for what it is, right? Like I mean, Belichick without Brady, this is a regular old team. They should be able to beat a regular old team. Joy, how nervous are you? Because you you believe in Bill Belichick is the greatest coach of all time. I believe greatest defensive mind. Y'all believe greatest coach. Shady believes he's a guy. But either way, they are going up against the great.